Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today I'm going to talk about growing a few plants that you might not think about. This is my ginger plant. You can see I've got it growing in a large pot here. Now I grew this ginger from ginger roots, from the roots that I bought at the grocery store. I bought some roots that at the Whole Foods Market because they were organically grown as opposed to um, roots that you might buy in some grocery store stores. All you have to do is just break off a few pieces of roots, plant them in soil, and they grow. And then when it comes time to harvest it, you just dig up the roots and you've got ginger. Here's some aloe vera. My idea is that if I'm growing something, it's either going to be used for food or for medicine or for some other purpose. I don't grow plants strictly as ornamentals. Of course, aloe vera, I've done other videos on aloe vera in the past. It has a lot of medicinal value. It's good for digestive problems and of course it's good, also good externally. It's known as the burn plant. Uh, because the um, it is good for burns. These plants right here are airplane plants. They're also called spider plants because looking at them from the side there, they kind of look like spider legs. Now I'm growing them outside because we're in the summer here. In the winter time, I will move these indoors. And the reason that I'm growing these is uh, these plants, uh, the spider plant or airplane plant is about the best plant that there is for removing toxins from the air. Here's a larger one over here and another large one. These plants are excellent for growing indoors to purify your air. Here's another aloe vera plant. This one is uh, quite large. This is my pepper plant. But the reason we're looking at this is not for the pepper plant, but for these little guys growing down here. These are turmeric root, grown uh, in a similar fashion as the ginger that I showed you. Just break off little piece, little pieces of the turmeric root. You buy the whole root at uh, the grocery store. Break off little pieces, plant them in the soil, and you get turmeric plants. And when it comes time to harvest, you can dig it up, and you have turmeric roots. Turmeric is a great herb for many purposes. Um, it is great; has great medicinal value. Uh, but it also has great culinary value and turmeric is one of the most important herbs there is for preserving meat. Say if you want to smoke your meat or you want to dry your meat you can add some spices to the meat to make it keep better. These plants here are Jerusalem artichokes See if we can get a good shot there. Jerusalem artichokes are great survival food. You eat the root, the tuber. Um, you eat it like a... Uh, Here's the main tape part of my garden. The largest part of my garden. There's some uh, more stevia growing there. I've had some... Or I've dumped some uh, manure in there getting ready to till that into the garden. It's my greenhouse frame. I've got the plastic. I'm getting ready to put the uh, plastic on the greenhouse so I can extend my growing season. Here's uh, my tomato plants winding down. A few other plants winding down. Lots of squash, zucchini over here. Okra. okra, zucchini, squash, 
bean plants, what's left of my Swiss chard. Here's some fruit trees that I planted here when we moved in a year ago. It's apricot. Over here we have um, apple. Most trees take three or four years before they start producing fruit. Uh, an exception is a fig. Fig will produce fruit after a year. This is a Chicago fig. It's a cold hardy fig that I can grow here in Missouri. Uh, this is the first year for this fig tree and I've gotten lots of figs uh, off of it for such a small tree. Delicious Chicago figs. Really good figs. Here's a peach tree. Here's another little strip of my garden here. Some herbs, lettuce. These are young plants. A little bit more stevia. I put down this um, black cloth to uh, keep the weeds down. I don't like um, weeding and as a result a lot of times weeds take over my garden so this year I'm trying something new with this uh, ground cloth and I'm watering this with a soaker hose which runs underneath it. There's some basil, more basil, more young fruit trees, apple, pear. It's another one of those tires. This is a cherry tomato plant. We've got lots of uh, cherry tomato tomatoes off of this plant this year. And it's winding down. We're approaching the fall here, so it's winding down, but this plant did real well. And this is, uh, again, Again, putting a tire in a spot here next to my drive where I can't really put the garden here, but I can extend my growing area with these tire planters around here. Here's a little catnip herb that I put right here in this uh, shady corner. Wanted to see how it would grow in this spot. And it's uh, it seems to have done fairly well. Here's a little persimmon tree. I bought these from the conservation department. By uh, buying 25 of these little trees, I got them for 50 cents a piece. And so I planted these um, little persimmon trees all throughout um, my wooded five acres here trying to find spots where they would get enough sun to grow and and fruit uh, but not only do I like persimmons but uh, persimmons are a favorite food for deer and if you plant uh, fruit trees like this on your property what you will find is that the deer will come through your property quite often and uh, when hunting season comes, you'll have plenty of deer to choose from. This is part of my rain collection system that I talked about in another video. What do you do when your rain collection system is on lower ground than your garden? You see my garden way up there next to the road. How do you get the water to go uphill? Well, here's the solution. Little four horsepower swimming pool pump. Little pump I bought at an estate sale for not very much money at all. Little, I said four horsepower, I meant one quarter. One quarter horsepower swimming pool pump, which works quite well at getting that water up the hill here to my water storage up there on top of the hill which I connect to my gravity feed soaker hose watering system for my garden up there. Here's the rabbit tree. 
I have other videos on YouTube that I did about growing rabbits for food and a little shelter that I built off the side of my garage. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.